The Sideshow Gamble. Love for Red. Hello, everybody. Chris from uh, Sideshow Gamble. We are we're back at it today. So today, um, I need to get back to doing my uh, my bankroll build video number three, but I'm not going to do that right now. What I want to do right now is I want to do a strategy build. I've played a lot of different strategies out on the videos, and I really want to spend some time with a thousand dollar bankroll here and look at doing random rolling completely random rolling and I watched a video the other day uh, from Color Me Up from Jeremy uh, from Color Me Up that is a forty dollar investment and what I want to do is I want to kind of randomly roll that out and see how we can kind of build that out a little bit more so what he does going to be $36 invested. Well, he's going to throw 40 to the dealer and $36, six and eight. All right. That's 18 on each. And here's how we're going to roll this up. Now, what does that leave us left? That leaves us $4 left. So I'm going to leave those $4. They're not in the field. They're not a come bet. So let's randomly roll and see what happens. Six, four, 10. Yeah. yeah I hate that combination. But I'm really trying to figure out a strategy that I can play that's low risk, but I can build up the payoff with that long roll. And we got a 3 one, 4 And we got a hard 10. Nah, I can never get a hard 10. So that's off. That's off right now. Alright, so bets are off. 437 does nothing. Five two seven does nothing. Aces does nothing to us because we're not playing the pass line. Hard ten. Okay, we're back on the ten. Wow, these dice don't want to roll anything other than that. And we got a five four nine. There we go. Let's roll with my left hand. It seems to be pretty random. 415, of course. 437, all right, didn't make it that far. So I'm going to lose that investment. Didn't get to, I'm going to leave the $4 out there because we're going to do it again. So I'm just going to take 40 bucks. Toss that to the dealer. He's going to send me back up. And we get $4 change still. That doesn't count these $4, but there's my $4 change. Put that back in the rack. Here we go. 549. Five six yo. Four two six. Here we go. All right. So that's going to pay us twenty one dollars. And what we need to do is we need to throw in three of these dollars to press those up to a thirty dollar bet. $1 left. So we've invested $39 and we're at a $30 six and eight. And we got box cars. Five, six, yo. And we got a hard 10. And we got a five, three, eight. Awesome. So that's going to pay as Jeremy was explaining, it's going to pay 35. We're going to then now what we have here is we have 90 
dollars. Now we have 96 if we throw in that last dollar. So we've invested $40 now, and we're going to go 96 across. 15 on the 4, 15 on the nine, 5, it would be $18, 6 and 8. Let's get some other change here. So, let's add it up. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 93, 96. And we had 96 there, I just took from it. So, for $40 investment, we're up $56 on the board right now. So this is where I'm trying to think how I would play this. So, because I don't know how many hits it took to get here, I think what I would do at this point is I'm going to go off on my bets. Right? If I get it to 96, I'm going to go off and wait for the 7. That's all I want. So we got aces. We got, yep, yeah, we missed out on it, but... There's an 8, and we're waiting for the 7. We're not even waiting for the point to be hit. We're waiting, even if he gets the point. We're in for the long game. 5, 1, 6, and see, because I want it now, I'm not going to get it. There's a hard 6, but I want to stay disciplined, and i gotta, I got to force myself. There's a hard 4. And there's a 6, 1, 7, so we hit the 7. Now, box going to go off, but all our bets are going to stay because everything was off. Now, I want to transition to a strategy that Jacob from Wager Me This was playing, where it's the 3-2-1, where we do three hits, then we go off. Then we get two hits from the next shooter, and then off. And then one hit, and then pull it all down and start all over again, and hopefully we can make it through. So, let's see. So everything's off right now, and we got a five. So point's going to be five. We're back on. Now I want three. That's what I'm looking for. And we got a hard six. So that's going to pay us $21. That's a $21 winner. Now let's press that where we... I'm going to press the 6 because we hit the 6. I'm going to press the 5, the 9, and we'll do the 4. That was 1. And we got a 6, 4, 10. So that $15, what is that that's going to pay? It pays 28, 27. So that's going to pay us $27, and we're going to press the 8 this time, we're going to press the 10, we'll press the 6, we're going to press the 5, and the 9. That's our second one, and we got a 6, 4, 10 again, outstanding. That's, that's a good one to hit. So we got $20, so that's going to be like a $38. I'm not sure if I'm getting that out correctly, but that's what we're doing. So now we're going to press the 4, 5, 6, the 8, the 9, and the 10, and we're going to press that 8 twice. So. I'm not coloring up the chips because I just want to see where it's all going to be. Now, that was our last hit for this shooter. So, he's, he, I'll probably pick up buy bets. So, we're going off again. We got our three hits. We pressed everything up. We're still only $40 invested. So, we're waiting for that seven. We don't care what comes, we don't want to see anything but that. And there it is. 617. Puck's going off, bets are staying off. Now the next year we want two from. 
And we got a hard four. So we're gonna be on the four. Bets are on. And we got a three, two, five. Alright? So that five, I gotta see how much we got on it. It's a thirty dollar bet, so that's gonna pay forty two. There's twenty five. There's forty. There's forty two. So we're going to press the six and the eight one. So I've got the singles out there. We're gonna press that five, the four. The 9, the 10, and then we're going to hit the 5 and the 9 again. You press it any way you want. Whoops. Go back over there. You press it all to one unit if you want. Here we go. Second unit we need, and we got a 5, 1, 6. All right. Oh, boy. This is always easy to do. So, this is how I do, especially when we haven't colored it up. All right. Do that again. So it's the bet plus the cap. There's the cap. We'll color these caps up real quick. Put that back the way it was. That's two more fives right there. All right. So, one, one, go two on those, and we'll hit the five again. Yeah, I know those are pretty tall bets right now. I got it. So that was our second hit on that shooter. We're going off. Doesn't matter. We're going off. We're putting two random strategies together. And we got a six, three, nine. As I hit everything on my table, trying to get my stick. And we got a 426. We got a 325. Five, three, eight. Nope, we don't care. Everything's off. 516. And we got a 617. All right. So puck's off. Bets are off with the, with the puck. Now, let's get a point. 617. Doesn't do anything to us. 314. We're back on the four again. Now everything's on. This is our last hit. And we got a hard 10. Okay, let's figure out what we're sitting at on the 10. We're at $35 on the 10, which is going to pay 70. I'm not sure what the VIG is on that, so let's just take $5 off. I'm sure that'll account for it in the end. So, $65. Now, what did we invest on this shooter? Well, not this shooter, but this, this round of randomness. We invested $40. That's it. So I'm going to leave this $40 right here because that's what we invested. Let's see what our profits are and we'll color it up real quick because no matter what, we're going to pull everything down. So, one, two, three, four. So, we're going to color that up because I'm running out of red. So that's 250.
So what we made off of just that random strategy That's 1, 2, 275, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. We made $298 off of that strategy. And we only invested $40. So we're going to rack this up. And we're just going to start over again. I'm going to just get another flat chip here. I'm not shooting. I'm just letting it random roll. There's my forty dollars. Dealer set me up. So we're going back to fifteen on the six and eight. Well, not fifteen, but eighteen. Eighteen on the six and eight. Get rid of this. And there's my four dollars. All right, here we go. And six one seven. So. Guess what? Actually, you know what we'd probably do? We wouldn't even play that shooter anymore. So, I'm gonna, what I would do is I would not have those on. Those would be off. He threw a seven, we're off. Okay, now we're starting. All right, six, three, nine. Because that other shooter, he got us the one hit and that was it. Three, two, five, doesn't do us anything. So we start over completely. We go through the whole process again. Three, two, five again. Three, two, five. Wow. That's a questionable roll, but that's an eight. So it's going to pay us 21. We're going to throw the dealer $3, and he's going to take everything. Up to 30. And we've got one dollar left. And we didn't make it on this shooter. Alright, this this not this shooter, because it's not really just a single shooter strategy, is the way I'm looking at this. This is a random strategy for the table. Alright. So we have one dollar. So we invested 39. Alright, let's get a point. Five, three, eight. How much time we at? I think we're good. It might be a little bit of a longer video, but we're good. So we're going to throw our $40 in. Dealer set me up. He's going to take that cash. He's going to set us up. dollars six and eight four dollars change and of course now we're just not on the table the right way look at this that's a six one seven so that's thirty six dollars lost on that shooter or that that session again it's not the shooter just that session there's my forty He's going to send me back up. These will be off, obviously, on the... And let's get my other $4 that the dealer owes me. All right, coming up. Ace-deuce. Doesn't do anything to us. Four three seven Doesn't do anything. And we got a hard eight. Okay, hard eight it is. Six five yo. Four one five. Four one five. Now we're hitting. Jesus, we're hitting the fives like that on this random. Six four ten. That rolled. It's not a hard eight. Ace deuce. Five four nine. Four three seven. All right. Well, 
We didn't make it. I'm going to drop another 40. And I'm just going to get $4 change here. Because those four weren't in play, but that puts me back up. Okay. We're going to give this another run out. 617 doesn't do anything on the come out. Everything's off right now. 617 again. Four, or 325. 325 is going to be the point. On a six rate. 437. Okay. So obviously the table's changed a little bit, but I'm going to give it one more shot. We're going to change up some green dice here. I'm going to give it one more. So I'm going to drop 40. I'm going to give $4 change. I don't know why I dropped two there. 40 bucks. Get my $4 change. That's to be the same as those. They're not in play. Here we go. 325. 516. Okay. So we're going to take $3. And we're going to take that up to $30, 6 and 8. Here we go. And we got a 549. And we got a 516. Okay. Maybe we're on a on a path again. That's gonna pay us 35. We're gonna we're gonna throw in that extra dollar. We're gonna tell the dealer to take us 96 inside. Okay. Three units there. We're at 96 across, not inside, I should have said across. 96 across, we're going off. That doesn't matter, we're going off. 6, 4, 10. Six, three, nine. Guy could go on a random, massive roll. Hard eight. God, I hope he doesn't. 5, 4, 9. Looks like he is. Five three eight. Wow. Six three nine. He's going on it. Four one five. I already hit the point. Bucks off. Six five yo. Doesn't do anything. Five two seven. All right. There is what we were looking for. So let's get that point. Aces. That's not a good sign. We got a 628. Alright. Bets are on. Three hits. 415. Okay. So that's gonna pay 21 again. Five, the six, the nine, and the ten. Here we go. That's one. Five, four, nine. It's going to pay twenty-eight. So we're going to press the six. We're going to press the six and the eight again. And we're going to press the 4 and the 9. That's 2. And we got a 639. And took out a tower of chips. Stack that back up. 
I can at least make them look like pretty stacks. So we hit the nine. Six, three, nine. It's going to pay 35. Press the 5, press the 9, press the 9, press the 10, press the 5 again, and we'll press the, we'll press the 5 and 9 again. Just gonna, I don't want to break anything apart, but that's our third hit, so now we're going off. We're off. We want this, there it is. Wow. We got our three hits. We went off. Alright, next shooter's coming up, still on the same strategy we're going with. And they set a 10, hard 10. Bets are on. Now, two hits. 5, 1, 6. So we've got on the 6, $30 6. Winner. I'm going to take this five and get some singles for it. And what I'm going to do is press the one, two, three, all the chips here. All right, that was our first hit. We want one more. Five one six, outstanding. So now we're sitting at what's thirty-five plus fourteen? Thirty-five plus fourteen. Thirty-five. Thirty-five plus fourteen. Forty-nine. Okay, so a two, two. We're gonna go three on the six because I went high on the eight. Line. Actually, no, we'll go two and two. Two on the five. We'll go on the ten, the nine, and the four. All right, those were our two hits. Those are our two. We're going off now. Now we're waiting for that six or the seven. Bleh. All right. They hit the point. Doesn't matter. We're, we don't care that they hit the point. We're waiting for another number. Five, three, eight. They're back on the eight. We got a hard four. We got a five, four, nine. Again, they could go on a, a massive roll. Four, two, six. They just did we hit the eight? I can't remember. Six, one, seven. They may have hit that eight, so I'll give credit to everybody else at the table. But regardless, so even if they hit the eight, I think we then hit a nine. So then we hit the seven. Now we're back off. So. We've rolled the seven, now we're waiting for a point. And we got a five, one, six. Moving that all the way down. Bets are back on. One hit. And we got box cars. Makes you nervous, but AC Ducey. And we got a 314. Okay. So let's see where we're sitting. 25, 30, $35, so 70. I'm going to pay a $5 VIG out of it again. I know, I don't know, it's 70, so I think it's like a, it's a dollar for 50, so, you know, we'll just throw $2. $2 VIG. Now, again, we invested $40, so we're going to put that over to the side here. And let's see where we're sitting at now. That's a hundred. 
200 right there. Stack that up over here. $200. It's 50. So that shooter, or that, not it's not really a shooter, but that iteration of the Ramble gave us 290, or 390, yeah, 294, $294. So we'd rack that up. Now, video's been going for a little bit, but let's see where we're sitting. We took a, we took a few random rollers, didn't really throw, I'm going to get 20 for that. Good 20. 225s. All right, we started with a thousand dollar bankroll. I know the point's still out there, but we weren't playing the fast line, so we're going to stop now. We started with a thousand dollars. There's 500. 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. There's our thousand dollar buy in. We are now currently sitting 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47. We're sitting at $447 profit, and all we invested was $40 for, I think we went like four or five iterations. But still, there's the payout. So let me know your thoughts. That is a combination of Jeremy from Color Up with the $40 investment. And then what we did was we got it to 96 across. And then we went with Jacob from Wager Me This, his 3-2-1. Three, three hits and off, two hits and off, one hit and off. And this is what we came out with. So for me, this is a random roll strategy that I am definitely going to be playing. So... As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Until next time, talk to you guys later.